President Obama has made the first combat decision of his presidency as he signed off on sending 17,000 more American troops to Afghanistan. The first to go, roughly 8,000 Marines from Camp Lejeune will be on the ground in late spring, followed by 4,000 soldiers from an Army Striker Brigade at Fort Lewis. A U.S. military official says both are being trained for dual missions, fight the insurgency, and mentor the Afghan army. 5,000 more support troops will get orders at a later date. One of their first missions reclaimed the southern part of Afghanistan, where the Taliban operates uncontested in some areas. That means securing roads against bombs and allowing commanders to hold territory long enough to put economic programs in place. By being a permanent presence there, by being a long-term presence, rather than flying out by helicopter uh, for a day's operations or a couple of days' operations and then flying back to their base. A team of Navy Seabees has already arrived to build basic infrastructure for the incoming troops. And Defense Department officials tell us more forward bases will be established soon. The additional troops come ahead of the president's review of Afghanistan's strategy. In an interview with Canada's CBC Tuesday, the president said the situation there is deteriorating. I am absolutely convinced that you cannot solve the problem of uh, Afghanistan, the Taliban, the spread of extremism in that region solely through military means. We're going to have to use diplomacy. We're going to have to use development. A U.S. military official with specific knowledge of Afghanistan deployment tells us this is not a surge. This operation is being planned as a sustained commitment over several years, and you can't do a surge for that long. Chris Lawrence, CNN, the Pentagon.